Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gary Root, just on the Fan TV. Man, I got to know the video. Like the content in this video, go ahead hit that like button. Like the content in this channel, go hit subscribe, man. Like I said in the previous video, y'all been hit subscribe a lot. I appreciate y'all. Let's keep running it up. Look, training camp day five, right? To me, football has really started now. Why is that? The pads came on. And we know when the pads come on, it's a whole different ball game, right? So but before we get into that, real quick, let's do some off the field stuff, right? All right. So, Ben Cleveland finally passed his conditioning test. Uh, he practiced for the first time today, and now he can finally throw his hat in the ring for that left guard job. Right now, they, you know, according to Greg Roman, it's, it's, it's Ben Powers in, in the lead, and Tyree Phillips and, and Ben Cleveland are behind. Will they catch up? We'll, we'll see. All right. Uh, Duvernay and Jawan James did not practice. Duvernay got the thigh bruise that he picked up in the stadium practice, and Jawan James apparently has like a little nagging injury that's been bothering him. So I'm guessing the Ravens are just playing it safe and keeping them out. We'll see what comes. We we'll see what comes to fruition with that. Um, now let's get into what happened in practice today. Now, the, when you put those pads on, especially during that first week, all the all that stuff in the shorts and seven on seven, that's for the offense. When you put the pads on for the first time, I expect the defense to dominate, and that's exactly what the defense did today. Apparently, the offense wasn't sharp all around, and the defense had their way. Uh, we're talking about Adafi always stood out. Pressure all day off the edge. Um, yeah, they said pressure inside and outside. So not just Adafi Owe, he was on the edge, but also guys was getting penetration down the middle, uh, which is good to hear. We want to hear that the Ravens have a balanced pass for us, that they can hit you from all spots, all right? Also, Kyle Hamilton, there was that clip going around from the stadium practice when Bailey Gaither got one over on him in that slot and that one-on-one. Um, I mean, I saw it. I saw it on rep. I was there, but whatever. It's a one-on-one -on -one rep. Who cares? Um, so the, I'm gonna say all I have to say is it was just one rep. Now he came back today and went against two players who are better than Bailey Gaither and two players that are going to be more like the kind of players that he's going to be guarding for the Ravens. So he went up against uh, Isaiah Likely today, and he went up against Mark Andrews, and he won both matchups. All right. Good pass breakup on Mark Andrews, and I believe they said he jammed Isaiah Likely at the line and got a pass breakup on that one. Now, two things from that. One, that's how you bounce back. Um, and two, this is the second time Isaiah Likely that I've seen him in, in person for myself and now hearing it again from a reporter that he's getting jammed at the line of scrimmage. I know he has the whole wide receiver in the, in the tight end body thing going on, but like I, he's my favorite rookie, so I, I got to be honest with him. You got to get off the line, bro. You got to get off the line. Um, I see Brandon Stevens jam you up, and now I've seen, now I've heard about Kyle Hamilton doing it. So you got to get off the line. But he's immensely talented. He's 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 a really good young player. I spent a lot of time Isaiah Likely, but this is about Kyle Hamilton. Don't let somebody have one bad rep and make it like that's a that's their whole career. That's who they are. Kyle Hamilton was never going to guard slot receivers. That's not that's not what he does. He was going to be the jack of all trades, and if he was going to cover anybody, it was going to be tight ends. And he's 6'4", 220. He's going to use that frame and guard tight ends. And he did that in practice today. All right. The defense apparently was so on fire that um, Kavon Seymour had a good practice. He had a couple of good one-on-ones that, you know, he contested and broke up. So, you know, we, we said a lot about Kavon Seymour on Twitter. I, I mentioned him in the, in the stadium practice video. So he bounced back. That's good, man. I, I, I don't have any ill will to no Ravens players. I want to see them all be successful. So I'm glad that he had a good practice. Now, as far as the offense goes, um, they said that it just wasn't sharp today, man. It just was not sharp. Lamar missed uh, Bateman a couple times in one-on-one -on -one drills. And um, just it seemed like there wasn't a lot of flow to the offense today. But when you look at the numbers, they said that Lamar Jackson was 10 for 15 and 11 on 11, which is good. But there was a, a lot, a lot of checkdowns. Drops were an issue. So what I take from that, a lot of checkdowns. Pros and cons. Pros that he's he, he's all he's always been good at getting through his reads. That's excuse me. That's not been Lamar Jackson's fault. He could always get through his reads, but he might try to make a superhero play and force one downfield. All right. I like to hear that he's getting through his reads. Check down. Check down. Check down. Cool. I would rather get three, four yards than have. A sack or, or or interception, whatever you know what I'm saying. Um, so checkdowns to me that was a that was the next uh, progression in Lamar Jackson's game. So on the other side, guys not getting open downfield. Now the receivers obviously is a much talked about position. I'm not going to panic after one practice. 
I expect the defense to dominate most of this week. I'm not going to lie to you. Because when the pads come on for the first time, the defense can come to life. They can hit you. They can hold you. They can check you. When it when it's when we run it against air and we run it in shorts, that's not for the defense. That's for the offensive guys to get rhythm. Now we in pads, the defense get rhythm. You, you get what I'm saying? So now the Ravens receivers are still having an issue with drops, not getting open next week, going into the first preseason game. Then we start to get worried. We start to get concerned. But this week, I'm trying to tell you guys, calm down. All right. This week is for the defense. I'm trying to tell you. This week is for the defense. All right. There was one good offensive player, though, apparently. And he's with the second team offense. But that was Jalen Moore, man. Apparently, he made a couple of great catches. Um, he had a, a double move. Yeah, they had a double move on um, Brandon Stevens, beat him for a touchdown. And he had a good rep versus Pepe Williams. Strong catch secured it. And he also, with the same price, I didn't mention him in the video, he went up, he went up top of Robert Jackson. Probably had the, one of the best catches of the practice for like a 40, 50 yard touchdown, you know. Um, he's been here a couple years. We talk, I've talked about a whole list of other guys who could be wide receiver five for the Ravens, and I have not talked about Jalen Moore, and that's my fault. He's been here for a couple years now. He really should have the inside track to that position if he if he can continue to make plays like this. Um, he's been here. He knows the system. Lamar likes him, and uh, he's making plays in practice. He's strong. He knows the offense, right? So Jalen Moore could be that wide receiver five that we've been talking about giving it to other players. It could be Jalen Moore, man. Um, so overall, that's that's the main thing from practice, right? Is that the defense had a dominating day. And I will urge all Ravens fans, do not panic about the offense. Please don't. Because when the pads come on for the first time, usually the defense takes it. Um, ever since I've really been paying attention to, to training camp, uh, since, I, since I was young, you feel me? It seemed like the defense, when the pads come on, that's when the defense comes to life. That's when the defense first really steps up and takes assertiveness on, on the day. So the defense won a day. We'll see if they win a day tomorrow. It's about consistency. It's about building on days. Or will the offense bounce back? I expect Lamar Jackson to bounce back and be sharper, right? He could have a bad practice or, or a practice where he's not excellent. He's human, right? He's still one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And I expect him to bounce back. He's resilient. Um, so we'll see what happens tomorrow, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.